what's good everybody <clears throat> excuse me queen common sense coming back to you from the shy town holding it down now there's been much ado about this young sister black indigo and i did say it was the last time i was going to dress that hybrid shit that happened with her that she did but uh that sparked me to follow up with this video because in giving and receiving tough love behind doing some dumb shit, whether we know it's dumb or not at the time, and, and, and issuing out my uh, tough love and putting it down truthfully and honestly the way that it is without opinions and all that gray area bullshit I have to follow up with a build up and a re restoration of the spirit and and of the mind and, and of the consciousness and speak to the souls of these young ladies including black indigo She's just one example of what's a pandemic in our society as a culture of peoples. Now, personally, I am sick and goddamn tired of seeing the same goddamn shit year in and year out with these hot ass women. Walking around with their nose and face all tuned up like they a fucking diva. And they somebody owe them some shit just because they think and they are self-entitled to the shit that they think is old to them. Let me break it down real simple. That's called attitude. And you got some deep-seated, deep-rooted issues if you feel just because you arrive in a goddamn room somewhere that somebody owe you some shit just because you cute or because you got a big mouth, big ass, big titties or you can suck a golf ball through a water hose. That don't mean nobody owe you shit. Don't nobody got to bow at your fucking feet. Now, the reason why I'm following up is to speak to the soul and rebuild the character and the spirit of those who I pissed off with the truth. Now, see, accountability is very important if you want to take yourself seriously or anyone to take you seriously in any community. I don't give a fuck if it's the conscious community, unconscious community. But if you want any stability in your life, if you want any type of peace within your inner self, you must hold yourself accountable for the shit that you do. We all do. Me included. So, like I said before, all this in-between time, meantime bullshit, right is right and wrong is wrong. And until we learn to accept not what we want to accept is wrong. What is wrong that we do. We know it's fucked up. We know it's jacked up. We know it's not right. You need to realize for yourself that nobody's going to look out for you like you. Nobody's going to elevate you to your next vibrational level but you. And the energy that you put out the energy we put out as individuals, melanated peoples, is the energy we get back. Karma is real, goddammit, whether you want to believe it or not. And again, talk all the shit you want. I don't care. But it's true. It's real. And karma will come back and bite you in your ass. And everywhere that we run and try to escape the shit, it's going to come back. 
Everywhere you go, there you are. You can't get away from it because you're the source of that energy. And it's going to keep coming back to you until you balance that shit out and make it right. Whether it's accepting within yourself or openly admitting, I fucked up, I made a mistake, I made a bad choice, a bad move, however you want to label it. Until you come to terms with the shit, ain't nothing going to change. Because here we are. 2011 on down into a new millennium okay and we as black people melanated people uh, nubian people african people cannot just will not and refuse to accept accountability for what the fuck we do whether it's to ourselves or to each other Y'all has got a reason why it's okay. And this shit ain't okay. We got our babies watching this shit, y'all. They growing up confused and conflicted on, well, I saw my mama do it. She, 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 she didn't tell me no different. Or she said it was wrong, but she did the shit anyway. And then you grow up, this child, watch this child grow up, and you wonder where the fuck did this child get this shit from? Got it from you, mama or daddy, who doing the fucked up shit. What's done in the dark will come to light. The key is personal accountability. And also, I am my sister's keeper. Fellas, I am my brother's keeper. Stop being so fucking selfish. That's why the state of the world and society as we know it that we live in is fucked up now because don't nobody want to take responsibility for shit but themselves and then the raggedy little shit that they do they making excuses for the shit it ain't no excuse to be a fuck up on purpose and like I said before stop repeating the same shit over and over again expecting different results because you do that, you crazy. That's the definition of insanity, is doing the same goddamn shit day in and day out, expecting something to manifest itself, and you're going to grow up and come, pop out, and you're going to jump off, and you're going to be a millionaire. Or you're going to be this next big known artist, so you automatically a diva just because you got all this fancy clothes and labor whore. That shit don't mean shit. Until you accept accountability for what you do, how you do it, and walk with responsibility in your swag, and shit gonna change. A journey begins with the first step of one person. Same for a movement. So, y'all don't like the truth, I don't give a fuck. I'm here to tell you the truth, common sense. Think about it. And stop trying to justify all this unnecessary, polluted, demented, demonic bullshit that the European power structure and society has taught us to do by watching they motherfucking ass. Well, they did it. So I can do it and get away with it too. I don't have to hold myself accountable for shit. They got away with it. I can get away with the shit too. Bullshit. Why Why you want to get in where you fit in and be like the fucking enemies? And it's enemies inside the camp too. Just because somebody look like you don't mean that they are for you. And don't mean they have your best interests at heart. And that's the goddamn problem now. Divide and conquer. And guess what? It's working, y'all. So we need to wake the fuck up, stop making excuses and debating back and forth of all this gray area of this and that and the other thing. Fuck all that. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And what you do in the dark will come to light. I don't give a fuck if you did it 50 years ago. It'll pop right back up. Karma is a motherfucking bitch, a bigger bitch than me. Okay? For telling you the truth. So, it's time for tough love, y'all. And stop all this whining and bitching about all these hypothetical what-ifs and all this shit. We need to hold each other accountable for our shit. 
And we need to sit and make sure we understand and overstand this goddamn shit. So, peace out. Till next time. Accountability is the key. Period. Call it square. Call it lame. What the fuck? I don't care. Accountability, y'all. Until we take it, unite with it, and set a bar, and reach that bar, and don't lower that bar, and shit gonna change. So, you know, every time somebody commits an act like this, especially a black woman, it further damages the faith and the honor and integrity that is already damaged of our black men looking at us. They already outdone with our motherfucking asses. That's why a lot of y'all motherfuckers are still single. So think about that shit. Stop tarnishing my reputation with the brothers. Because I'm cool with the brothers. I like the brothers. I love the brothers. Okay? Married a brother. 14 years strong. Stop fucking me up. Because I like socializing and intellectualizing with the brothers too. So, all y'all hybrid motherfuckers, cut the shit out. Take accountability for what you're doing. It's not funny. It's not cute. And it ain't solving shit. So, my time is winding down. Queen Common Sense coming back to you from the shy town holding it down. Peace, love, hotep, accountability, my aunt, goddammit. One love.